Hello everyone, Daft here with you. Hope everyone's doing a very fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to talk about a feature that was updated on the MCDU or Multifunction Control and Display Unit. The added feature is in the PROG page. You need to press the PROG button. If you look on the fourth row button, you'll see the words bearing and distance and below it is empty. On the right side of it, that's where you put your waypoint. What it does is that whenever you put a waypoint in that slot, the FMGS calculates and spits out the direction distance remaining from the exact point you're in on the spot. You can insert in the waypoint slot the airport identifier, the airport identifier including the runway, the VORs, etc. And then every two seconds the bearing distance gets updated. We're currently in Daytona, which is Kilo Delta Alpha Bravo on runway 25 right. If I insert the airport Kilo Delta Alpha Bravo into a slot, it will give you the direction or distance remaining left. Of course the distance will be very close because we're already in Daytona as it is. Now if you really want to be detailed, you can include the runway itself. So I'll insert the airport identifier of Kilo Delta Alpha Bravo and after the runway itself, which is runway 25 right. Now it's showing you that you're even closer to the waypoint. How about we try a nearby VOR? Let's say Oscar Mike November, which is Ormond Beach's VOR. You insert that directly into the waypoint slot. And you can see there are two options for you. I already know the frequency of the VOR, and if you notice, it shows the distance above the first option, which is 8 nautical mile. So by default, I already know that's the closest VOR. Now the numbers show you that in this exact spot, if you turn around towards 3 or 4, 2 degrees, you'll have 7.9 nautical miles left to reach the Oscar Mike November VOR. I'll cross check and use Sky Vector as a reference to show you what I mean. As you can see from the accuracy of the MCDU, it is correct. Let's try one last time instead of use an airport that's a little bit farther. Orlando's around the corner, but that'll be too easy. So let's try Kilo Julia Alpha X ray. Jacksonville International. You punch in the airport identifier into the waypoint slot, choose the correct selection which is the first option, then you have the following calculations. If you turn towards 344 degrees direct to Jacksonville, you'll have 85.4 nautical miles remaining. Once again we'll cross check with the sky vector. So that's about it for the bearing distance information on the PROG page. Hopefully that sheds some light and is somewhat informative. If you have any questions, suggestions, feel free to leave in the comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.